Welcome to another edition of The Surfing Violinist. To start off today, a little bit of paying the piper that needs to be done. Today, the piper is Briarly Bishop, a noted YouTube personality, with a broad range of videos from singing and playing guitar to cooking videos, parodies, vlogs, etc. Anyway, she's a piper I don't mind paying because she seems cool enough, so check her out in this clip. I mean, don't check her out. I mean, you, you can if you want to. Just... Hi. Yes, this is Tumblr. Hi. Uh, how do I join? Did you check your privilege at the door? I wasn't sure how. It's easy. You just agree to relinquish any and all perquisites associated with gender identity, sexual identity, race, religion, class, or anything else, really. Alright. I wouldn't want to offend anybody and not know about it. Trust me. You'd know. So the question for you, dear viewer, is what would you like to see Briarly do next? It could be cooking up a special recipe, it could be covering your favorite song. Whatever you'd like to see Briarly do, throw her a tweet at Briarly Bishop and let her know what you'd like to see in her next video. Click that annotation to check out her channel and don't forget to subscribe and give her a tweet. About this time last year I did a little video in terribly broken Hindi about a holiday celebrated in North India called Raksha Bandhan. Raksha Bandhan honors the relationship between brothers and sisters. Today we're going to take a look at a regional tradition from the southeast corner of the United States that my family has been celebrating for years. Decoration Day. Not a recognized holiday in America, but there is evidence that the act of families decorating their relatives' graves may have led to the formation of Memorial Day. For our family, Decoration Day falls on the Saturday before the second Sunday in May at a little cemetery called Whitehall. It's off US Highway 11 in Valleyhead, Alabama, which is about as small a town as you'll ever find. Out at Whitehall, it's easy to forget about Walmart, McDonald's, and imagine you're back in the 30s. In fact, this year the mental exercise was aided because my grandmother and aunt just recently finished a book about my grandmother's time on the farm as a child. He called the book, Our Mockingbird Sang Mashed Potatoes. Apparently, if you have enough time and the right mockingbird, you can train a mockingbird to talk just like you can train a parrot to talk. This book is filled with all kinds of fun revelations about farm life, family, history, the Great Depression. It's a really neat read. So it was cool visiting my grandmother's old stomping grounds with some of these stories fresh in my mind. On Friday night, we took it easy, checked out the barn. The kids got to ride on the tailgate of the truck. I annoyed my cousin. Cheese. Cheese. Cheese, 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 cheese. Was that, was that annoying? It's a little annoying, yeah. <laughs> On Saturday, the festivities began. What does Decoration Day mean to you? Uh, getting in touch with our roots and our heritage. It means I am part of the Smith family. <laughs> well, the Smith Hogue family. A time for family to come together and enjoy one another. And we get to play wiffle ball in uh, Grandma and Granddad's yard. A family. How's that? Is that a good answer? That's perfect. <laughs> good answer. What does Decoration Day mean to you? Hmm, <laughs> interesting. What does uh, Decoration Day mean to you? Well, I guess it's uh, an opportunity for me to see where my potential plot may be. <laughs> <laughs> First order of business was to decorate the graves. But this year was different because a lot of people who normally head the whole thing up and provide flowers for us and make things go smoothly weren't able to make it this year. My grandmother's feeling very sick and wasn't able to go. So my cousin and I had an epiphany. I think Nana not being here is the, she was the one, the cohesive one who kind of organized everything. So we're gonna have to start taking over. We took some actual posed family photos for the first time since Rohan was born. We're real sentimental. After the decorating was complete, a small service was held. A family put together some harmonies for special music that was quite nice. It'll be peaceful there through endless days. Then came the food. Food, food, food. Food comed on the couch for a while, and then it was time for family sports. Oh, All right, remember what we went through in practice. All right, I have our strategy down. Well, well Coach Cliff, uh, what are you going to have to do in the uh, second half to... Uh, to turn this game around. So we're just going to have to start hitting harder. What do you think about Team Cousins? Do you think we can hold our uh, advantage? Pretty much advantage? we dominate, but in the words of Bobby Bowden, we need to Dumb. score more points than the other team What's the score? and prevent them from scoring points. Sitting on the front porch and just chilling with the family for the first time in about four years was really awesome. As a kid, I generally took this time for granted, so now that I'm an adult, I've begun to better understand why we do it. I don't get very sentimental about the holidays, especially in recent years, but this year I got it. I appreciated why we came together. To remember, to compare notes, to share experiences, to help each other perhaps get over something that's been troubling us. This year my grandmother really wanted me to go up to Decoration Day and serenade everyone with my violin. But I refused because it had been a hectic week and I didn't really feel like playing. So here's to my grandmother, here's to family, here's to that mockingbird that sang mashed potatoes, and here's to Decoration Day.
Edgar Allan? No, Dennis LeBron. <laughs>